Hello there. Uh, this is a tutorial on how to use uh, the TI-83 plus calculator to graph functions. So we're going to focus on uh, linear functions, the kind of functions you see in Algebra 1 and uh, on Algebra 2. So uh, that's the goes the title, graphing functions with TI-83 plus. Or you can also use the same uh, procedure for the TI-83, uh, the regular TI-83, the TI-84s also, the same process applies, okay? So let's say you wanted to graph a constant function, for example, let's say you want to graph y equals 3, okay? So um, when you're on a home screen, this is your home screen, all you just simply do is you press the, uh, you press the Y button, okay? tells you plus one, two, three, and then you just simply enter your your uh, functions here. You can graph seven at a time, or if you go down, uh, it gives you more as you scroll down. You notice that each, all the functions here are written explicitly in terms of y, so you must solve your function explicitly in terms of y first before um, you graph it. Okay, so it's going to basically be a function of x, the variable here is default function of x, okay? So since this function has been solved explicitly in terms of y, I'll just press the 3 button. We are going to be graphing y equals 3. This is the horizontal line. And then just simply hit graph. And there goes your your function. If you want to trace it, you can press trace, and then move it to the left or to the right. And as you scroll left or right, uh, you can see the input and output values, the x and the y values change, or you can enter a specific input value or x value, press enter and it calculates the y value. That's more precise. Uh, if you want to generate tables, for example, you can go z x is 0, what is y? 3, x is 1, what is y? 3, and you can generate your tables using that calculation. Okay, so that is how to graph a constant function. Now what if I wanted to graph a function of this nature y? equals 2x plus 3. Something like this. If I wanted to graph something like that, uh, just press y. Let's clear out this function first. And then we just type in 2. You see this variable button here? x, t, theta, and n. It depends on the mode that you're on. Okay, the function per parametric is t, molar is theta, and sequential is n. So whatever function you're on basically tells you what variable this automatically assumes. So since we're on function, this variable, this button automatically assumes the value of x. So that's going to be our variable right now. Okay, so we're going to type in 2, x plus 3. Press enter. You see this? Highlighted equal there means that this is the active function. I can go down there and press it go to the equal and press enter, that deactivates it. If I pick it up and press enter, that activates it. When I press graph, see that? That's the graph. The slope is 2 and the y-intercept is 3, so you see the nice graph there. Oh, wait, let me deactivate it. See what happens. Uh, nothing just graphed because the while function was deactivated. So activate it uh, like that, and you have your graph. You can also add special effects to your graph by scrolling to the left. If you press enter, that makes it a thick line. See that? Gives you a thick line. Like if you wanted to have multiple functions and you wanted one to be thick and the other to be regular, you can use this cool feature. What if, you, if I wanted to shade the top? You see that? Upper shaded region there means shade up. Graph is going to shade the top of the line. Okay? This is the equation y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 3. If you wanted to shade the bottom, just go over there, press enter, sh shade the button, bottom, <coughs> like that. So you can apply all these cool special effects to uh, your function, okay? And then this one is a path. It shows the path that a point traveling on that, on that graph will take. Check this out, it's kind of cool. Look at that. See how it's moving? It's showing you the graphing path that it takes. Alright, so there are cool animated features here that you can use for different purposes uh, when you're graphing, um, graphing lines. Um, and the last one just shows you the path it takes without actually tracing it out. The other one shows the trace of the path, but this one just shows you the path without the trace. We show you the path of motion 
uh, it shows an object moving along the path without leaving a trace. Okay, look at that. Um, this is just a movement of a particle without no trace whatsoever. So it just shows you if this were a function of the movement of a body, how would it move on the graph? That's what it just illustrates it. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, so let's uh, say that we wanted to graph a function that has a fraction. So what if I wanted to graph y equals 2 third x plus 4, for example? Okay, so let's try that one out. If we wanted to graph that, we just simply, I like to encapsulate my fractions in parentheses so that I do not make any errors, create uh, rational functions, but that doesn't apply here, but I like to do it because it's good practice. So, 2 over 3x, that's my slope, plus 4, that's my y-intercept, enter. And there goes your graph. Okay, y-intercept is expected to be 4, and then rise, and then run. Um, in other cool features you can use here, you can adjust the table, you can zoom in, zoom out, I'll go over those, those later. Uh, you can also access your table. Uh, for the functions right there, but I just want to focus mainly on what the graph looks like. So I can trace, and trace, 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 or if I wanted to pick, let's say, what if it's where x were, uh, let's say x were 6, for example. So x equals 6, bam, y equals 8. Okay, what if it x were 0? Oh, no, no, let's say x were uh, negative 6, that's what I was going to say, huh? negative 6, bam, y equals 0, that was your uh, x-intercept, alright? Now, what if you wanted to find the intersection of two lines, okay? Let's say you wanted to find the intersection of the following line, let's say, uh, let's erase these problems, let's say you, were, you wanted to solve an equation by graphing, right? Uh, solve it by graphing, so it says solve the system by graphing, so by graphing, you wanted to solve <coughs> y equals negative x plus 3, and y equals x plus 3. So you want to solve this by graphing. So if you solve this by graphing, you have to you know, plot the two lines and wherever they intersect, that's your solution region. So let's see how this can be helpful, uh, how we can use the graphing calculator to solve this. So the first function, we're going to go negative x plus 3 x plus 3, let's square the rest, let's do that again, oopsie, negative x plus 3, and then the next one is just x plus 3, alright, graph both of them, that goes the first graph, the negative slope, and then the second graph, the positive slope, was the value of that intersection right there, uh, it looks like uh, 0, 3, but I'm not sure, to get the precise answer, we can see this yellow, you see this function right here above it, this button is calculate, this accesses the calculation functions for your graphing. So if I go second function trace, it gives me the different calculations that you can do on the graph. Value, zero, mean and max, intersection, and then uh, the slope of the tangent line, given by the derivative at a, at a particular point, or the area under the curve where you're, you're, um, your integral, your indefinite integral, so to speak. All depends on if you set boundaries. So, integral, derivative, intersection, max and mean, and then zero and value. So we're looking for the intersection here because that's what the solution is by definition, right? So I select five. It says was the first first curve because we might have four curves, right? I need only two. So first curve, I just press enter. Second curve, I press enter. You know what? You notice how it changed from y one to y two? So this is now y two. So I press enter and it says guess. Oh, that looks like a good guess point. Press enter. Intersection is 0, 3. So your solution to this system of equation is basically uh, x equals 0 and y equals 3. Or you can write it as a, the ordered pair. Write it as a, the ordered pair uh, 0, 3. Okay? Now what if you, were, you wanted to graph um, you wanted to graph a an equation in standard form. So let's say you wanted to graph uh, something like this: 3x plus uh, <clears throat> 2y equals 6, something of this nature. Unfortunately, this uh, calculator cannot graph implicitly; it has to be explicit. There are a pool of programs that can do implicit plots, but this 
that functionality is beyond the capacity of this calculator. So in order to put this in the form that this calculator can handle, we must apply our, our knowledge of algebra to manipulate this equation to be in terms of just y, explicitly solved in y, um, and then we can graph it. So all I just do is do some algebraic tricks. Subtract 3x from both sides, and then we have 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. Divide both sides by 2. Actually, everything by 2, and they have y equals negative 3 over 2x uh, plus 3. Now it looks much better now. Something that's graphable with this calculator, so let's graph it. Alright, so we're going to have negative parentheses. I like to do my fractions in parentheses, encapsulate them in a parentheses so I do not generate functions I do not desire. Plus 3. Boom. Graph. And there you have it. Okay? So this is also one tutorial um, on how to graph. I will be going over other advanced functions, uh, tools in this calculator, and upcoming videos. Thanks again for watching this. Hope you found this helpful.